Hey guys, just a quick video today on Ham Radio for Non-Techies. I got a recent comment from someone about one of my videos I did, and it was about the spark plug end fed half wave I did about a year, year and a half ago. And his comment was simply, how is this for non-techies? And what I had in the video was a review of the spark plug antenna, how to tune it, so on and so forth. Now, I'm sorry, I can only dumb down things in ham radio so much. There has to be concessions on your part that if you're going to get into the hobby, you're going to have to concede that certain things are going to have to be done by you, one of which may be tuning an antenna. If you're going to buy an antenna that requires to be tuned, you'll have to have some sort of a tuner, whether that be a, a nano VNA or a rig expert or whatever you want to use. So you're going to have to learn something. It can't just be all handed to you on a platter. Come on, guys, give me a break on this. You know, I mean, short of me driving in my car to your house, setting up my gear and helping you out, don't you think if you're going to get into a hobby, you should have the idea that you're going to have to learn and do a couple things on your own? If not, maybe ham radio is not for you and you should go try something like basket weaving underwater. I mean, just saying. So... Yeah, I just wanted to get this out there. I, I, I get these weird comments occasionally. Just probably, I'm not making a big deal about it. But it just kind of throws me off a little bit that somebody would look at that and, and know that there's, there, there's, there's technical stuff in ham radio. You have to know about, you know, attenuation. You have to know about, you know, uh, repeaters. And you have to know about, you know, different tones. And there's all kinds of stuff. And, and you know, uh, tuning an antenna to the bands you want to be resonant on is one of those things. It is not difficult. A five-year-old can do it. I've seen it. Okay, so lighten up a little bit. It doesn't have to be you know, so crazy to think that I can't do anything. I have to have it all done for me by someone else. And if you want to get a plug-and-play antenna, then do that. There's plenty of plug-and-play. You buy them, you hook them up, they, they work. But you'll get more value out of ham radio, in my opinion, by learning a couple few things, asking questions. Use one of your free Google uh, searches. They're free for a limited time. You can find out anything you need to know about ham radio by doing your homework. I do on this channel, I, I try to bring stuff to you guys and simplify it as much as possible, but there are limitations. Right? There, there's just some limitations here. I'm not getting in my car, driving to your house, to tune up your stupid antenna. If you can't figure it out, then go buy something else or get out of the hobby. Uh, so that's pretty much it, guys. Hey, look, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. I just want to do a quick one today. I don't want to make it a long, dragged out process, be a talking head. Uh, but if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, subscribe uh, and hit the little bell. That'll let uh, YouTube know that you like these kind of videos and you want to be notified when I do new videos. And until then, guys, this is Ham Reader for Non-Techies. My name is Scott, and we are clear.